Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of August of 2022. Yeah, thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well. We are going to get into this general energy reading for you for the month of August 2022 and beyond. Please keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as it is all not going to resonate for everyone. Also, keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you solely in the month of August of 2022, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But also, Virgo, if you just would prefer to watch the videos here on the channel, I highly recommend that you smash that like button, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and or so subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already because that will definitely help me to pick up on your energy in future readings and circumstances yeah so definitely go ahead and ga get engaged that helps me a great deal in connecting with your energy all right i'm gonna give this one last shuffle for you virgo and we will see what messages come through for you at this time um so i did cancer and leo's readings right before yours and I was able to pick up on something in the beginning, but for you, Virgo, I'm just getting a big mess of energy going on for you. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I just feel like there's a lot going on. There may be a lot going on in your life right now. Um, there may be a lot going on energetically, emotionally, mentally, but I can't, I can't really, I'm not really getting anything specific right now. All right, so let's just get into these cards then. What's going on for Virgo, please, Spirit? Maybe you have a really clear mind right now. Um, you may be in a position where you ended, you closed out a certain cycle and maybe you're just kind of like floating around, just being peaceful. I'm hearing peacefully. There may be a lot of peace in your life right now. Uh, you may be in between projects. You may be in a time period of your life right now like where, like I said, you closed out a certain cycle or a certain situation. I did just hear a marriage for someone. Um, and you're kind of, not, that, not necessarily that you're in limbo, but you're also in a very restful period where maybe there are a lot of things that you could move forward towards next, but you just haven't decided yet or the, the next thing for you to move towards or you to take action on hasn't developed yet i am kind of getting a bit of a seven of cups energy for you but that's not representing anything negative it's more of just like potentials or possibilities all right show us virgo what's going on for virgo this month what messages do we have for virgo at this time okay we're starting you off with the five of pentacles that's interesting why do i feel like you get that energy so much what's going on for virgo Next is death. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then fi and then you have, not finally necessarily, but you have the six of pentacles. All right, anything else for Virgo? Ooh, okay, one more card here. The king of cups. Oh, Virgo. With the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. All right, Virgo. First of all, I want to say, Virgo, that this King of Cups definitely feels like it could be some sort of masculine energy coming forward towards you. It could even be multiple. Someone may have their, their sights set on you. Okay, seeing your value, seeing your worth, knowing who, what it is you bring to the table. I mean, I'm just getting, ooh, Virgo, this King of Cups energy, man. Ooh, Ooh, if this is someone else in your vicinity, they have got the hots for you or they have got their sights on you. And yes, they may have the hots for you, but don't get me wrong. It's not King of Wands energy. This is King of Cups energy. This is like, I, oof, I want to like wine and dine you. I want to romance you. I want to make love to you. Like I want, I just, I just want to experience all the luscious things with you. I mean, there could... This might be lust, but it also, it feels like something so much deeper if, you, if this is someone around you. 
It feels like it could be someone coming towards you fairly soon. Because what it looks like here, Virgo, is you seem to have stepped off of some sort of karmic cycle, stepped out of some sort of karmic cycle that had you, that either had you in a lack mentality belief system or was a direct result of your feelings of lack. Five of Pentacles here. But you've definitely transformed out of that, okay? You're going from the Five of Pentacles to death, all right? So this actually feels like that phase or that cycle that you may have just come out of. So remember what I was saying in the beginning was, I'm not getting, I'm not picking up on something specific for you right now. It's almost as if you're in limbo, but I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I feel like you just came out of something and you're just kind of like almost taking a break or this is like, okay, this is like an intermission. I just heard this is an intermission for you that you seem to be in. But this is what you've transformed out of. And that transformation has, in fact, brought forward a greater, a, a better environment, maybe, for this reciprocal, loving, ooh, honey, I mean, like, Don Juan, wine and dine, like, ooh, I don't know, man, but this King of Cups, man, ooh, I mean, the ooh, Virgo, but, like, see, that's the thing. Now, you might be standing in this King of Cups energy, but I really do feel like this King of Cups is someone external to you. I, I just wanted to say cancer. Now, granted, I did start my day with can doing cancer's reading, but I just did Leo right before you. This, this King of Cups, let me say, let me finish this first. This King of Cups feels like someone external to you. May actually be a Cancerian. All right, it is the King of Cups, so that does is water signs. Technically, the King of Cups would represent Scorpio, but the King of Cups could represent any water sign. The King of Cups can represent anybody. But you might be a Cancer, cross-watching for a Virgo. You might be a Virgo with a Cancer placement. You might be a Cancer with a Virgo placement. You may be a Virgo with some sort of Cancer, Cancerian individual out there, most likely a masculine dominant, whether a man or a woman, doesn't matter. But they're, ooh, honey, either you have met this person or they've seen you or you don't know each other yet, but ooh, Oh man, the love, the passion, the desire, the... Mm. I may have to calm down on that one. <laughs> but ultimately, you do have this Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting a lot of unknown energy from this Wheel of Fortune, Virgo. You do have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom underneath the Wheel of Fortune and then underneath the Knight of Pentacles is the Sun. This Knight of Pentacles does feel resonant with your energy. What this feels like here is the Sun is saying you have really good opportunities or we'll say really good potential. That's what I heard. You have really good potential ahead of you. Virgo, all right? And things are not quite clear yet because maybe some things are still coming together. You know, you're still settling into this new reality or this new vibration or this new transformation you just came through. And that's got things a little bit up in the air with the Wheel of Fortune here. But ultimately, you there is really, really great potential. I feel like the environment that you're in right now, Virgo, is extremely fertile, super, super fertile. And all you really got to do is to continue to move forward in the way that you have been, exactly the way that you have been, I heard specifically, exactly the way that you have been all this time that helped you or that helped you do complete this transformation or helped you get through this transformation. Keep that up because that is setting the playing field I'm hearing for some sort of potential love connection, King of Cups or creative business connection, I don't know, to come through for you here, King of Cups. Again, you may be embodying this energy of the King of Cups here. That makes perfect sense. But I also feel like this is definitely someone external to you. Okay, Spirit, we want to clarify things. Where do we want to start with the King of Cups? <laughs> okay, let's start with the King of Cups then. Clarify this King of Cups for a Virgo, please, Spirit. Ooh, the Emperor. Yo. Yo. Vir Ooh. Hold up. Hold up, Virgo. Clarify this King of Cups, please. There's the world. Oh my God. This person, I feel like this person is, I just heard this person wants to make you an offer. This person wants to make you an offer, honey. You have the tower. Wants to completely change your world. The Ten of Swords. The Ace of Cups. Oh, damn. And the Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Virgo. This is someone external to you. Again, you very well could be, in fact, holding 
exhibiting, embodying this King of Cups energy, energy, which I do feel like you are. Uh, let me tell you this, but first, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is in fact the Four of Wands. Holy moly. Okay, so look, you really could be embodying this King of Cups energy because the King of Cups represents, technically, officially represents Scorpio. So does this death card here. So it feels like you have gone through a transformation and through this transformation here, you are standing in this King of Cups energy. Emotionally stable, emotionally uh, mature, emotionally available, okay? Um, emotionally solid, stable and grounded. I did say stable already. But I absolutely feel like Virgo, Somebody is also, there is a, someone external to you that is ex representing this King of Cups energy as well, may even be mirroring this for you. So you may be the feminine here. Most likely you are, you know, most of my audience here is either women or those of the feminine energetic orientation, but of course you do not have to be, okay? But you are, you do have this Queen of Pentacles here, which is what I feel like you are showing up as, okay? So you might be the feminine here. Um, and then this masculine is coming forward towards you. You have the King of Cups and the Emperor. But see, here's the thing. This person may actually want to marry you. And the thing about it is Virgo, is it, he came out, clarifying him came out the Emperor to the world and then also the Tower. But I kind of felt it with the Emperor and then the world came out and I was like, oh yeah, really, someone wants to change your life. Someone wants to completely come in and completely change the situation for you. Somebody wants to settle down with you, make you theirs, make them yours, make themselves yours, uh, marry you even. I mean, you do have the Four of Wands here. Okay, that could represent marriage or it could also just represent a solid foundation for a relationship to be built upon. One of passion and desire, understanding and love and creativity and strong potential. Okay, then you have that with the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So you remember how I was saying this King of Cups is looking at you, man. And I mean, the love or the respect or the desire, whatnot, whatever. I didn't necessarily say respect, but I'm saying it now. Well, looky here, you are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. This person really wants to take you out of some sort of heartbreak, some sort of pain. This person wants to love you, wants to show you love, wants to honor and respect you because they see you for who you truly are and what it is you have to bring to the table, even the potential for a really fruitful relationship with you, whereas maybe they or you may have experienced a fruitless marriage in the past. Honor, respect. I'm also hearing fertility. I mean, this is a beautiful energy, Virgo. But understand, Virgo, even if you don't know of this person or you haven't met this person yet, they may know of you, but maybe they're kind of holding back. I did channel a short, oh gosh, by the time you guys see this reading though, I don't know if you'll be able to find it. I don't know how far down in the list it will be, but I did channel a quick short message. It's in the shorts section and it's titled, Someone is Holding Their Feelings Back From You. It's two parts. And the individual that they were holding their feelings back from is the Queen of Pentacles, so that could be you. Now in that reading, they were also, the, the other side of the individual that was holding their feelings back was showing up as the King of Pentacles. So there you go, King and Queen of Pentacles, uh, wifey, sp wifey, hubby, spouse type energy. But I'm definitely getting a strong level of maturity from this person. They may even be a bit older than you with the Emperor here. More power to you, honey, and no shade there. Especially if this person really does and, and or can love you. You know, if you're into it too, I mean, baby, go ahead because you deserve this. Now, I also want to say that whomever this person is, whether you know of them yet or not, their reality, their energy coming into your reality or into your life is a direct reflection or a direct result of this. Five of Pentacles to death for you and the Six of Pentacles. You have gone through a massive transformation or a sufficient enough transformation to allow some sort of reciprocal energy to be coming into your life at this time. Which we wanna look at first, the Five of Pentacles. Let's look at the Five of Pentacles. What does the Five of Pentacles represent for a Virgo, please, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What does the Five of Pentacles represent for Virgo? Queen of Swords, you better get it, boo. 
you better get it. I mean, this is a, a situation, a moment, a time period where you were just like, you know what? You know what? I am actually really done with feeling this lack mentality and not feeling worthy, this worthilessness of myself. I am so done with this. Queen of Swords. Anything else for the Five of Pentacles? Seven. Shh. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. Seven of Wands. Queen of Swords to the Seven of Wands. Overall energy, we're back to the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost as if the universe... Well, maybe it's not almost as if. Maybe it really is, as, it really is the fact that because what I'm getting here is the universe, I just felt and heard the universe was waiting for you to get up out of this energy yourself, to pull you out of this energy yourself because the universe always knew how worthy, how sexy, how vibrant, how beautiful you are, how, what the, the, the honor within you, the fertility, the fruitfulness within you, the whatever, whatever it is you bring to the table, the universe knew about this all along. And we were just waiting for you to get out of it, says the universe. You have the Queen of Swords to the Seven of Wands. And this is literally just like, you know what? I'm just not going to believe in that any longer. Period, point blank. No discussion, no need for discernment, no need for deliberation. Just, no, I'm sorry. Definitely a need for discernment, but no need for deliberation. Absolutely not. 100% pure, un unadulterated discernment. It is what it is. I ain't trying to vibe with this shit any longer. I'm cutting it out. Queen of Swords, and I'm keeping my boundaries up from that. The Seven of Wands. There's no reason for me to ever even have thought of believed in that or you know what i mean even though yes you probably went through situations and circumstances that helped guide you towards that sense of belief but you know what this right here the queen of swords to the seven of wands is absolutely can be seen as a representation of you taking on or you enacting your right to free will your divine the divine law spirit just said the divine law of free will you can either believe in something give into it and put, give your energy to it, or you can't, or, or you don't. And it seems like you don't anymore. And that's beautiful. And that is exactly what is changing the landscape or the situations for you, the Wheel of Fortune. Excuse the sniffles. Okay, so with that said, then clarify death, please, spirit, for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Clarify death. The Eight of Swords, okay. Now see, now Virgo, your energy, your reading has is slightly different than Leo and Cancer. Um, there is a slightly different circumstance or storyline coming through for you here, but all three of you today have received the Eight of Swords in some way. Clarify death, please, for Virgo. <laughs> okay, Seven of Pentacles now, but in reverse. That's enough, okay. And the Six of Swords. Okay, overall energy is the two of wands. All right, Virgo, so what this is saying for you, to me here, uh, is that your transformation came from you recognizing the restrictions you placed yourself under. And this actually feels uh, very relevant to your energy, Virgo, because Virgo energy can, somewhat, can sometimes be um, very restricted, feeling very, can be very conservative, um, maybe even chaste or chaste, how, or, you know, chastity or whatever, not what, not whatever. Okay. Um, restrictions and boundaries, but it was overly restrictive. It was not fruitful for you. There's that level of fruitfulness or the, the, the representation of fruitfulness. Didn't the seven of pentacles, wasn't the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck for you in the beginning of the reading? Yes, that's right. Was it? No, wait, I don't remember now. That might've been Leo. I really can't remember. But anyway, the seven of pentacles is representing lack of fruit. Uh, I'm sorry, fruitlessness, right? The transformation for you seems to have come about because you started to recognize and realize that whatever restrictions you had put yourself under, and I say that very specifically because that may be restrictions that you assimilated from the outside world, but ultimately you chose to to subscribe to that, right? So ultimately you put yourself under these restrictions or you allowed yourself to be in this restrictive energy, but you started to recognize or realize that you were not getting any fruits for your labor or not the desired outcome, right? So that's where you decided or something got you to move forward. Something catalyzed you moving forward. With that, we have the Six of Swords, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And honestly, Virgo, this feels simply just a choice that was made. And it feels so flippant. 
like so easy like the, like this choice was so easy was as easy as just flipping on a light switch like that's what this feels like for me for you it doesn't mean that it wasn't difficult for you to start moving forward but at least the change in perspective or the understanding that you needed was very easy to come to at least maybe by the point that you reached this stage it was easy for you to understand or come to as easy as flipping on a light switch okay that's kind that's literally what i'm seeing for some of you here. But ultimately, this has been a choice. Two of Wands. How do I want to move forward? Do I want to keep doing this the same old way, expecting a different result, but not actually getting it? Or do I want to choose to take a different path? You chose to take a different path, Virgo. And that is leading you. Oh, Virgo. If this is love, this King of Cups here, man, get ready. Because you are about to receive the love of a lifetime or just like someone who is so compassionate and passionate and emotionally available. And it's just like, we'll just shower you in all of the love you could ever imagine. I mean, it's almost as if this person sees you as some sort. <laughs> I literally just heard an exotic animal. Okay, you're not an animal. I mean, technically, we kind of are animals, but we're not. We're human beings, right? We're more evolved than that. I'm not calling you an animal. I'm just saying you are some sort of exotic creature that they want to bring into their lives and hold dear to themselves, care for, nurture, respect, and love, and, and help to grow and prop them up. I mean, Virgo. Ooh, I am jealous. Mm. But I mean that in the best ways because this is beautiful for you. Clarify the Six of Pentacles finally for Virgo, please. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. You have reciprocity coming to you is what I want to say. As a deep result of this deep transformation that you've made with this, this. The Eight of Wands. Look at that. That is a message coming in or that is clear and open pathway towards receiving and or moving forward towards something. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. The Three of Pentacles. That's excellent. The Page of Wands. Anything else? <laughs> but the devil what the fuck <laughs> overall energy is the ace of wands all right wait 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 virgo hold on <laughs> what the fuck is this this devil energy you know this does feel like a message honestly this six of pentacles feels like a message of reciprocity or something that would be really reciprocal really balanced even in the give and the take here but this absolutely feels like a message you have the eight of wands you also have the page of pentacles which both could represent messages coming forward the page of wands could absolutely represent a messenger or receiving a message from someone the three of pentacles is a is an energy of working together building a foundation code not codependency excuse me teamwork and then you have the devil. Mm. Now, the devil could represent codependency, and I almost did just say that. But what I'm hearing with the devil is, well, what I'm hearing with the eight of wands, the three of pentacles, the knight of wands, I'm sorry, the page of wands, and then the devil, what I'm hearing with, through all of this is, I want to make you mine. Now, the devil doesn't have to be bad. The devil doesn't have to be low vibrational energies. It doesn't have to be toxicity. It doesn't have to be codependency. It doesn't have to be addiction or anything like that. The devil could just mean binding contracts. Often or sometimes, I mean, I'm sure y'all have heard the, 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 the old adage or the old phrase, uh, the old ball and chain, right? Speaking in terms of like your wife or, well, technically, usually it was men speaking about their wives. But you could flip it and be a wife speaking about their husband. Um, conditional contracts or the conditions that come with contracts, some sort of binding legal situation somehow which could represent marriage, could absolutely be marriage. I want you to be mine. I want to make you mine is what I'm hearing. I'm not going to lie. This could, they're, they're, mm, mm, mm. this could be borderline toxic. Or maybe I'm picking up on some of you are kind of like wondering if this is actually a toxic thing, a codependent thing. But I, But honestly, Virgo, what I get from this devil energy is just like maybe fixation, Maybe a little bit of obsession. Um, it just feel it really. It, it honestly, it's coming through as the devil because it feels so strong. 
almost like a compulsion. Like this person who would be bringing this message towards you feels like or is in an energy right now of they have no choice. There's no one else in the world that they would rather give this energy to or be with or be um, chained to, confined to, I mean, uh, bound to. This almost feels like a fetish, <laughs> which, hey, do your thing, boo. Nope, more power to you. No shade, no judgment there. This almost feels like a fetish. Okay, I want to get a closing message for you, but I also I kind of want to clarify this devil a little bit more. Clarify the devil, please, a little bit more for my Cancer, for, not my Cancerians. There it is again. I wanted to say Cancer uh, for uh, Virgo. Two of Swords. Clarify the devil, please. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, you might want to be careful with this, Virgo. Um, now, here's the Empress here. Okay, and you do have the Emperor right there. You do have the Emperor right here, okay? So, I, and I, like I was saying, Virgo, for this masculine individual or for this Emperor energy, this King of Cups or whomever this is that it seems to be coming towards you, they are seeing the Queen of Pentacles within you. And now, you, again, you have the Empress here. They're showing as, up as the Emperor. So I do feel like they see either a, a divine counterpart in you or the Empress. Your, they see your Empress to their Emperor here. Now, with this, you have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords. The Empress, the King of Swords reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed. But Spirit says... Please take them upright. Okay. But this is also an element of as to why this, this energy, this person that may really want to start a relationship with you, build a relationship with you, this energy that really is coming through as something reciprocal, this is why it seems to be coming out as the devil. Because it seems like this person, Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Empress, this person doesn't even want to look for someone else. They see the Empress within you and that's really all they want, need, and or desire. Okay, so it could be the King of Swords is upright and the Nine of Cups is upright because this person is objectively seeing that there is happiness or potential for happiness within you. You would or you do make them happy, but these two came out in reverse. Now, even though Spirit is saying to me, ultimately finish with taking these upright, there is a level of obsessiveness here. The King of Swords is reversed and that's kind of telling me that this person or this entity, this energy that could be coming towards you may be refusing to be objective, may be refusing to understand and or see that there are many, there are plenty of empresses in the world. You know what I mean? Like not to devalue you at any, at, 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 in any way. Obviously, you know, they've hit the jackpot here <laughs> in coming in terms with your energy, but at the same time, you're not the only representation of this Empress energy. And there's this feeling here of a little bit of lack mentality I'm hearing. King of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse. It's as if this person is believing, or what I really wanna say is allowing themselves to believe that they can't be happy with anyone else other than you. And that's fairly toxic. That is fairly toxic, okay? That's something that's going to need to overcome. This person feels very passionate. Very, very passionate. And it could very well be that this person has waited or waited a long time or spent a long time seeking out or searching for maybe this exact energy or this exact signature. I don't know. It also could very well be a situation in which you guys, maybe you see each other as twin flames or some sort of divine counterparts or something like that. It could very well be that this person might be so ag aggressively pursuing your Empress energy here, Knight of Swords, because they don't believe anyone else has the potential to show up as you are or they feel like you're the only one like it's and maybe this is the devil energy because they're like I, i'm look look it's either you or no one else like there is no one else in the world for me you're it and if i can't get you man then i'm just gonna be i must i guess i'm just gonna be alone for the rest of my life so i really gotta i really gotta get you not gonna lie virgo part of me kind of likes that Honestly speaking, and maybe I'm picking up on some of your energies too. Like, you know what? Okay, 
I mean, that's cute. As long as we can temper some of that obsessive energy, I, I'm not mad at it. I like that level of devotion. I like the amount of tension that this person, person is giving me. I like the way that this person sees me as completely irreplaceable. I like that. Maybe we can temper some of this obsessiveness, but I like it. It's cute so far. Okay. Ultimately, though, Spirit wants me to leave the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups upright. Because yes, in the long run, the long and short of it is, there is definitely potential for you guys to be very, very happy with each other. What's the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Ooh. The Hanged Man and the Four of Wands. Oh my God, Virgo, this just got so much deeper because this person actually could have come out of a cycle of deception just like you have. Or I feel like this person is now in a new frame of mind. The Hanged Man. And maybe this person has been watching you for a while. Maybe that's why it's coming through as the devil. There's a little bit of an obsessive energy or there's also like a real aggressiveness even to pursue you to send you this message to make you theirs because they've been holding back for a long time just watching you learning about you understanding who you are getting to know you to a certain a sense having been restricted underneath the, the, the wheel of, i'm sorry underneath the hanged man is the four of wands there is another representation of marriage or there's that representation of marriage again, which did come out on this side. That is really, really interesting, Virgo. All right, let's get your closing message. Closing message, potential outcome for my Virgos in this reading. Please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. The Fool, a brand new start. And I definitely want to say it could be starting this relationship. Uh-oh, the Three of Swords. Well, the Three of Swords. Okay. But then the Lovers in Reverse. My, that's interesting. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. And then underneath that is the Queen of Cups. Mm. Virgo, are you playing hard to get? You might be. You might end up playing hard to get with this person. I'm getting feelings of the lovers in reverse. For Oh, look. Oh, look. The Nine of Wands. I didn't even see that there. I'm getting feelings of the nine of wands. I'm sorry, the lovers in reverse here for you, Virgo. Maybe, I want to say rejecting this, this offer, this divine partnership, or not quite accepting it just yet. I don't feel like this lovers in reverse is a full on rejection. I kind of get this energy of like, mm, okay, wait, like fall back a little bit, buddy. Like, hold on a second, like pump the brakes. But I also feel like you're taking a new leap of faith here. Obviously, you do have the fool. Out of some sort of heartbreak here. And maybe you're not just quite ready for the lovers. The energy of the lovers. That's really what I'm feeling here. Your stepping into this new cycle may actually be very, very fresh for you. You may be holding this new love at bay for yourself just because of pain and heartbreak, but I don't see you completely rejecting it or giving up. You have the nine of wands here. So I feel like you also may be interested in this as well, but just maybe not necessarily right away. And I would encourage that. I mean, don't be too cagey, but like, I understand the caution, especially with how intensely this person seems to be coming forward towards you i understand the caution there absolutely i just want to i'm curious knight of oh see look the four of wands again uh the lovers please the lovers in reverse for virgo anything you want to say about that the magician yes okay okay I do want to say, Virgo, yeah, and see, look, we're keeping the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is not bad. This is actually really good. I do feel like the, the, the fact that the Lovers is here is good. The reversal just means that it's not quite official yet, or it's not quite fully accepted yet, fully engaged with yet. But what I'm getting, what I'm feeling here with the Lovers, and now that's clarified by the Magician, I feel like that's you wanting to take the time to really manifest this properly. And now I'm being taken back to that Knight of Pentacles energy we were talking about. Whatever you have been doing to get yourself through this transformation, keep doing that. And that's what I see happening here with the Magician. I feel like 
This lovers in reverse is not quite an actual rejection, full out rejection. I feel like it's just needing a little more time or being consciously aware. Yes, being consciously aware of what it is you are manifesting and what it is you're trying to pull together at this time. And that is a very good, very beautiful thing. Excellent, Virgo. I'm loving that for you. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Uh, shoot me an email letting me know you're interested if you would like to get a personal reading from me. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beautimus. Bye.